heels on the bottom and try to roll down a street feet first at more than 70 miles an hour. Channel 7's Michael Finney is going to show us. San Francisco's Clipper Street this past Sunday. You're about to watch the agony of defeat. Oh, oh ambulance. He needs it. 36-year-old Alan Bradley was trying to beat the land luge speed record of 78.4 miles per hour. But instead of landing in the record books, he landed here, SF General Hospital. His right leg broken, his back compressed and shattered. Here, Bradley describes the final moments leading up to the crash. Okay. Everything's going great. Uh, I launched the luge through the air. I launched it through the air, so all four wheels are off the ground. On purpose. On purpose. And when I landed back on the ground, rather than coming down straight alongside the cars, the luge decided to steer into the cars. Bradley was going an estimated 70 miles per hour when he hit, and this on a land luge. Not much more than a long skateboard you lay down on. An ambulance was standing by, so he got to the hospital fast. Luckily, he isn't paralyzed, and although he goes into surgery tomorrow, doctors say he should get through the operation just fine. Now, after going through all of this, you might think Bradley would be ready to call it quits. Well, you'd be wrong. I'll be right back up on that same hill. Now we'll set the record on that hill. Even though he says he'll land luge again, you might expect him to tell kids, don't try this at home. But he doesn't. He tells them, go for it. Then offers just two words of advice. Helmets and pads. I had helmets and pads on, which is why I probably didn't die. I shattered my helmet and I shattered my knee pad. But they shattered before, my, before my, I did. Yes, but just barely. In San Francisco, Michael Finney, Channel 7 News tonight.